Before installing the regulator, ensure that the cylinder is fully secured. Remove the cylinder cap and place it nearby. Verify that the cylinder valve is closed and inspect the valve outlet for debris. Inspect the regulator and gauges for damage. Check to make sure the regulator is compatible with the cylinder you're using. The CGA number on the valve should match the CGA number on the regulator. Regulators for flammable gases typically have a notch on the nut. These are left-handed connections. Attach the regulator to the cylinder valve outlet. Do not force the connection. If the regulator will not fit into the cylinder, this indicates that the regulator is not intended for that gas. Screw in the regulator nut until it is finger tight. Tighten the connection with a smooth jawed wrench. Next, turn the delivery pressure adjustment knob counterclockwise until it turns freely. While standing behind the regulator outlet, open the cylinder valve slowly all of the way. If the cylinder you're using is a flammable gas, only open the valve until the gauge registers the cylinder pressure so the valve can be closed quickly in the event of an emergency. Check the connection for leaks using a soap solution such as Snoop. The presence of bubbles indicates a leak. If there is a leak, tighten the connection again with a wrench. If the leak remains after the nut is fully tightened, the regulator may need to be replaced. Never use Teflon tape on a CGA connection. If your application is incompatible with the use of a soap solution, a pressure test can be performed. To perform a pressure test, close the cylinder valve. If the needle on the inlet pressure gauge remains steady, there are no leaks. An electronic leak detector may also be used. Once the regulator is installed, there are no leaks and the gas supply is connected to your application, turn the delivery pressure adjustment knob clockwise until the outlet gauge reads the pressure required for your application. The gas is now ready for use.